The Senate President, Hamad Lawan, has explained uh, the rationale behind the 25 billion naira education appeal fund by the government and people of Yobe State. The Senate President, speaking at uh, the Yobe State Education Fund raising held in Abuja, said the idea was to reposition the education sector in the state and avail the children of Yobe State, particularly the incident ones, the opportunity to go to school and become useful to themselves and the society at large. The report is presented in our studios. At the occasion titled Yobe State Education Fundraising, Lawan, who is also an indigenous of Yobe State, said the situation in his state was good until the insurgents struck and caused incalculable damage in the state. The 25 billion is not going to solve all the problems, but definitely will reposition our educational sector better. And I want to make an appeal here. We want to have money, but there are some institutions that don't have to give us money. NTI, for example, give us slots for training of our teachers. We want to train our teachers. If you can't give us free, please charge us just the administrative costs. If there is one single sector that you can use to change the world, it's education. Speaking during the launching, Yobe State Governor May Malabuni stressed that the task of rejuvenating education in the state is far beyond the traditional treasury capacity of the state, hence the need to look elsewhere for support. According to him, the fund so generated will be channeled towards developing and maintaining a high standard of education philosophy, education policy, legal, regulatory and institutional arrangement in the basic and secondary education subsector. Even as we put forward our best efforts, consequent to this challenge, we decided to approach our good selves, our potential benefactors, through this education fundraising event to seek your support in cash or in kind of enrollment seed fund and to an estimated value of 25 billion naira. For us as governors who are also directly involved in educational activities in our state, we know that education is the greatest antidote to poverty and that we have a duty, indeed a responsibility, to take our people out of poverty. And if we educate them, definitely it is the first stage in the journey out of lifting them from poverty. The fundraising comes on the heels of the recovery of the education sector following the de declaration of a state of emergency by Governor May Malabuni-led administration and the subsequent inauguration of a 21-member committee to raise funds for the education sector. In attendance were prominent personalities which include governors, members of the National Assembly, former governors, members of the traditional ruling class, emirs, mayors and chiefs, captains of industries, business tycoons and other notable guests. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.